Uh, Greg, first and foremost, in the Scotland squad, just how important is that to you in terms of goals this season, especially in the next few months? Yeah, I think every time there's a national games come around, you want to be involved in them games. This camp's no different. Of course, we know that this is the last one before the Euro squad. So, yeah, I'm hopefully trying to impress if you are given the opportunity. You've been asked a thousand questions about the competition for your place. How do you view your chances of being on the plane? <sighs> All I can do is try and play content every game or every game I'm selected for my club and try and play well and if that's enough to be on the plane in the Scotland manager's eyes and brilliant. If it's not then so be it. That's uh, that's someone's opinion. How difficult is that though, given you're playing well, doing well, playing a club that's successful, but by virtue of just playing in the position you do, you, you might miss out? Yeah, of course. Do you understand that? I've understood that probably since I came through from the twenty ones that the opportunities for me and my position was going to be limited. Um, I've got 13 camps already and everyone I've uh, loved and I never take it for granted because it has been difficult and I feel as if when I get the opportunity I try and do my best for my country and uh, yeah, we'll see where that takes us come the summer. It's one of the things that kind of reassures you the fact that the, the manager is loyal to the players who have served him well and we've seen that consistently through his, his time in charge. I think that's definitely helped with Scotland, the Scotland team in general, not just me personally. Um, I think having that nucleus of players and uh, everyone's all in the one direction fighting for each other. doesn't matter who plays in each game, everyone wants success for the nation. So I think the manager's done really well at that. And On a personal level, yeah, we've got a great relationship. Obviously, had him at Kilmarnock and... He's done a lot for me in my career and improved me a lot as a player, so yeah, I'm very grateful to that. How much would it mean to you to be on that plane this summer? It would mean everything, of course. Um, I was lucky enough to go to the last Euros we qualified for. I didn't play, but I was there and it was a massive honour when you get that text through and you, you realise you're going. It was, yeah, of course, really special, so something you want to get have again, but understand it's not fully in your own control. There's obviously a lot you can still achieve as a, a team at Celtic this season, and I suppose you know, success could well help with your chances in the summer as well. Yeah, I think that's also important that your focus has got to be where it is currently. Um, we've got a big game tomorrow and understand that right now that's the most important. Then you have a couple of weeks where you park it and your focus changes and the national national team becomes the focus. But uh, yeah, there'll be a exciting running and yeah, it's uh, hopefully success at the end of it. Does this kind of feel like it's really getting into the business end of it now? Yeah, definitely. Of course, you know that you've only got, what is it, nine league games maybe? Nine league games, hopefully two cup games is the aim. And uh, yeah, that's when it gets to this stage, it is, as you say, the business end. And what kind of challenge do you expect from St Johnston? Do you, similar to the last game against Livingston? Uh, yeah, I think they've been playing a four more regularly, but of course the last time we played against them, they were in a back five and maybe they'll do that again tomorrow. We, um, we prepare for both ways and are ready and we know that they'll be uh, desperate to try and win the game as well. So we know we need to be right at it and start the game well. And how challenging has it been for you in that back line? There's been a lot of changes with injury. Is that something that's more difficult to adapt to? Yeah, it's more difficult. You would rather have strong relationships and, it, and be continuous, but this season it's been quite chop and changing just in terms of injuries. Myself included, I had a couple of weeks I missed. And um, yeah, I think that's probably been a frustration for all of us, as in the manager included, but it's one of the challenges of the season and one of the challenges of being a footballer. So uh, yeah, you've just got to form the new partnerships quickly and try and gel and uh, look at each game as it comes. And how big is this game as an opportunity to put more pressure on your title rivals by getting back to the summit of the table? I don't think that's really important quite yet. We know that there's nine league games to go and right now the most important one's St Johnston um, and we try and take care of that and then when, after, as I say, after the national team games come about, the, the focus will be right purely back on Celtic and trying to strive for success. The manager mentioned after the last game, obviously, that you missed Callum and Cameron Carter Vickers as well last time out. Do you, as a, you know, one of the more vocal, maybe one of the more senior players in the squad now, do you maybe take on more responsibility when they're not there just to, to talk players through games as well? I don't know about it's about taking more. I um, talk regularly. Um, as it is, as you see, I'm out here doing this every f my game, excuse my language. <laughs> um, but uh, no, um, I understand that it's uh, part and parcel of being one of the more experienced ones and being here for that wee bit longer, that you need to um, take on more roles and responsibilities and hopefully we can get those guys back quicker rather than later and uh, we can all try and push in the one direction. Do you see other maybe quieter guys in the team maybe pick up their voice as well when... when was that kind of void as well? Yeah, I think um, we spoke about it in the last game. That's important because obviously you're missing 
Callum, who's our captain, he's the most vocal, he's a leader, he speaks so well, and then you've got Cameron, who I think he's probably a different type of leader, he leads by example more than performance. So, um, yeah, I think we understood that it is important the rest of us try and, uh, and it's impossible to replace these guys, but just try and help with when they're gone. Is that a kind of challenge that the players maybe set themselves to, to almost raise their standards because they see these guys aren't here? I think maybe subconsciously, but um, I think it's really important you also just try and focus on your own role, doing that to the best of your ability. And normally if every player does that, then you'll have good collective success. You don't want to be doing here, there and everywhere just because you know important players are missing because then you lose focus on what's important and what's your own role in the game. You said earlier for the last Euros, you got the text to say he was going, just purely for my interest here. Yeah. What did it say? What was that moment like? Uh, it was Frank Riley who was involved with Scotland. He's not anymore. And uh, I remember I was in London and I just I knew it was like the it was about the time and uh, just outside Buckingham Palace it was and uh, I I strong with the misses and uh, yeah got the text through and it was uh, probably relief more than anything because you're so keen to be there and when that comes through it was just yeah pure joy. When it came through, was it sort of big screams, big excitement? Did people think you were a big fan of the Royals? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, no, I don't think it was big screams as such. It was more just, as I say, relief. I think my partner was probably a bit shocked, thinking, what's going on there? Like, And he explained uh, that way where uh, I was off to the Euros. So, yeah. Does it just say you're in? Let's check it. I, can't, I think I've still it, got it. Is it, it so one we'll you still it. got on your phone and you, you kind of look back at it? Because that must be we'll a check pretty. What Frank said back then. It's a while back then, isn't it? Here we go. Hi guys, congratulations, you're all included in the Scotland squad to be announced by Steve Clark at 2pm today. I will send the itinerary out shortly. There you go. So, Does that give you the goosebumps just reading that? Nah, no, it's, um, <laughs> I was thinking, I was panicking that it was still there. Uh, so yeah, that was the what we found out.